Hey guys, so if I was to ask you what your favorite thing about church is, what would you say? Uh, some of you would probably say, you know, maybe the music. Um, at our church, we have this group called High Road Trio. They're amazing. They're awesome. Really, really good singers, and I love hearing them sing. Um, it could be the preaching. It could be, you know, like for instance at our church where our pastor, Pastor Manus, is uses like incredible illustrations and these powerful stories. And um, or maybe it could be you like serving or you like the children's ministry or the athletic program that they have, right? What if I told you the thing that Jesus loved about the church was none of those things? He didn't even like the building. He didn't like the place. In fact, what Jesus loved about the church was the people who were in it. Now, I know that seems so simple, and it seems like, well, yeah, obviously Jesus loves us. Yeah, that's cool, but really think about it. Jesus said to Peter, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. We can learn a couple things out of that. One, the church is built on people. It wasn't built on methods. It wasn't built on a building. It was built on people. He was saying, I'm building my church on a person and the people who were with him. And the gates of hell will not prevail. In other words, when we build our churches on people, when we focus our church on loving the people of the church, hell itself is afraid of us. The thing that we fear the most is terrified of us. Because Christ knew if we just built our church on loving the people who were in the pew with us, or in the house with us, or down the aisle with us, hell itself would have no chance against us. We would be standing at the gates of hell breaking down the doors. That's how Christ loved the church. A church is called to love people. It's called to be built on people. It's called to do all those other things. Yes, have good music. Yes, have good preaching. Yes, do all of those things. But it's not called to simply only exist for those things. The church is called to love Jesus Christ. The church is called to love who we stand for. And it's also called to love who we are standing with. 